All right, kids, welcome back for more ways to make seven. We're going to see if you can meet the challenge of finding four different ways to make seven. And again, we're going to use our red and yellow counters to help us. Your first job is to count out and be sure you have seven red and yellow counters, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, seven. How about that? I had that ready to go. Pause me if you're not ready, but if you are, you're gonna do the same activity we did for ways to make five and ways to make six. You're gonna take your counters, give them a little shake, drop them, then put all of your yellows together and all of the reds together. And then you can see if you have three and four more, that's how you make one way to make seven. <coughs> Excuse me. So then you would do your recording job. You could slide off your three reds and draw yourself three red circles. And then you can slide off your four yellows. And I'm going to use um, an orange marker so you could see it. One, two, three, four. And I realize that may still be a little tricky for some kids to see. So let me just outline them quick. So again, we did our, oops, our one, two, three reds and one, two, three, four yellows. And that makes a total of seven. If you're ready to take that challenge of writing your math equation, you can do that right down here in the space underneath your um, way to make seven. So that would look like we have three reds plus four yellows equals seven in all. Now, if that feels too hard, that's okay. Just practice that great math talk of three and four makes seven. All right, see if you can continue this wonderful work on your own.